95% of tackles that end up in freeze are people who are too aggressive. They try and create too much contact, right? Where they come in loose, they come in with that spare hand, or they come in with, with an actual hurley. Okay, so, um, Richie, can I get you there just for a demo? Just for a sec. So, if Richie has the ball here, right, and he's going to take me on, first thing that I want to do is I want to start my feet. So as I said to you there, your feet cannot be square at any point, can they? And I think that, do we all know that? In, your, in the tackle, your feet can't be square, right? So, if Richie, if you're taking me on here, so if you're coming at me, right, I'm going to always want to keep my feet in that little athletic stance there at all times. I never want them square. I want to push him to a direction that I want to go to. So if he's taking me on and my feet are like this, I'm going to push him this way and I'm going to shadow him back like so. After that then, if he wants to go the opposite way, I can pivot off of that foot and I can go and bring him the opposite way. Is that fair enough? That's fairly straightforward? Brilliant. So, next thing in terms of actual space, right? If Richie has it there, and the fella, the fella he is, he's gonna ping that over the bar straight away. If he's 21 yards out, and I'm this far away from him, there's no way I'm in control of the situation, am I? Absolutely not. Equally, if Richie has gathered the ball, and I'm this close, and he wants to go past me, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna, I'm gonna foul him, aren't I? So if Richie wants to go past me, I can do nothing here, I'm on, I'm, my feet are planted and I can do nothing. So I need to at all times maintain that one meter to two meter space at all times. It's not about those big massive hits you see lads coming in shoulder to shoulder that win you the games. It's the ones that where you're this close, you dictate, he takes his steps and you flick that ball off. 